The fundamental electrocardiographic finding of bundle branch block is a wide QRS complex. In adults, complete bundle branch block is present when the QRS complex is 120 milliseconds or greater in duration. On an ECG with a standard paper speed of 25 millimeters per second, this translates to a QRS complex that is three small squares or wider. The QRS complexes in right-sided leads have a large terminal R wave, R prime. The initial portion of the QRS complex depends on the orientation of the heart and the intricacies of the conduction block, but typically involves a combination of R and S waves. The most characteristic wave morphology is RSR prime, as seen in this image. This morphology is commonly likened to a pair of rabbit ears. With an RSR prime wave, a small R wave is followed by a small S wave before terminating with a large R wave, R prime. Note, however, that other possible wave morphologies also exist, such as QR, R, R prime, or just R. Thus, the more common RSR prime morphology, or rabbit ears if you will, is not present in all cases of right bundle branch block. The QRS complexes in left side of leads have a broad or slurred S wave, which is greater in duration than the preceding R wave. The peak R time in lead V1 is greater than 50 milliseconds, but normal in leads V5 and V6. The ST segment and T wave are deflected in the opposite direction of the QRS complex. Essentially, when the QRS complex is positive, then the T wave is inverted, and vice versa. Conversely, concordance of the QRS complex with the ST T wave in a patient with right bundle branch block is suggestive of myocardial ischemia or infarction or other pathology. To quickly recap, the ECG features associated with a right bundle branch block include QRS prolongation, a large terminal R wave in right sided leads, a broad or slurred S wave in left sided leads, a prolonged peak R time in V1 and discordance of the ST segment and T-wave.